Bruh, do y'all understand the dynamics of OTF Jam? Think about it. Yeah, all you people who say, I don't care about who had who not, I don't care about who told, but all you dudes, all you little, all you little dirt fans, all you little hip hop fans, all right, now OTF Jam came home from prison worldwide for several years i believe he came home in 2022 worldwide for several years and now he even took down lord dirt so when i be telling you street dudes and you dudes that got shit going on to check these dudes paperwork and y'all think that i'm just old and i'm nitpicking bro i'm giving i'm schooling you dudes to the game bro if somebody not even lord dirt if somebody like me in a camp would have said hold up otf jam been in jail for 12 years let's check him out it might not have said that he was messed up but i bet you ain't none of them check him out and if they did check him out and something was up with him they would have seen it now god forbid he wasn't fucked up right now if he wasn't fucked up and they didn't check it then it don't matter if he wasn't fucked up and they checked it and it don't say it it still wouldn't matter because something propelled or compelled him to come home from jail after 12 motherfucking years and wear motherfucking wire, bruh. Like, it got to be a reason. What's the reason? They ain't sent him some money. Something was made. Somebody was mad. He got another case. Bruh, you got to check these suckers' paperwork, bruh. Now, y'all think I'm joking and playing about Esco. Bruh, I don't got to show y'all nothing about Esco. Esco did an interview with the police. Y'all need to ask him what he did an interview about. If y'all going to keep fucking with a nigga like Esco. Now, look at OT. F jam, bruh. Look what the fuck he did. Free the real.